Hi, it's Kim and welcome to today's video. Today, I am thinking about all the method that I'm going to use to take my plants indoors for the winter. I've got a whole lot that are tender and I'm going to need to take them inside. So we've got to treat and get rid of the fungus gnats before we can expect not to have them in our faces all winter long. So I'm going to go through a few few things on this video as I have before on some other videos and let you know what I do to treat my plants. For instance, here's one that has been outside since early spring. You, uh, there's a video that I can reference where I planted this one, but it is a very wet, moist plant. And one of the things that you can do is kind of scrape off a top layer of soil in it so that you can get rid of some of the soil that there might be fungus gnat eggs in. It's best to try and treat this in a dry state, but be sure you check the outside and even the underside around the drain hole so that you can make sure that you get all the bugs off. See, that's even got a piece of paper under it, but you've got to make sure you get all the bugs out. Now, I think the best thing to use is a systemic. So I would do in combination, I would let this dry out, scrape some of the soil off the top. If I had to water it between now and the time I take it in, I'd water it with a dilution of hydrogen peroxide. And then also make sure you inspect down in all the little crevices down there and the bottom. But the systemic, I explained in another video, it's some granules, it's a bonide systemic insecticide. I don't use it on the outdoor plants, only when I'm taking them in for the winter. As you see, my head vase with all the string of pearls in it has to go inside for the winter. And I would love to think that she wouldn't harbor a lot of insects in that soil and bring them in. She's doing real well, and I'm hoping to have a lot of the strings in her over this winter time period. She'll be under lights, so we'll have to see how that's gonna work. Now, over here, this one has been under the overhang, so he's all dried out, as you can see. So it'll be real easy to go in there and scrape off the top layer and refresh it with new soil. Now, your new soil, there's no guarantee that it won't have fungus gnats in it because the soil packages that you buy at the store, they have air holes in them because it can't be completely sealed in plastic. They have air holes in them and fungus gnats will get in that soil because they look for the soil to get into and under, lay their eggs, and then party for two weeks before they die. But I have to do that to all of these plants. As you see, I still have my pink butterflies. We have kept that, kept it all along, but it looks so pretty, I can't let it die. My little bonsai we're gonna treat. He'll just need scraped off just slightly at the top. He needs to dry out. I've gotta take these uh, they're out in the open air, so they get rained on and everything, and it keeps them kind of wet. So they are a prime one that could be filled with fungus gnats to bring inside. The same with the Christmas cactus. It's doing real well, but I've got to treat it and make sure that underneath there's not anything hidden that will come in and disrupt the growth of the Thanksgiving cactus. And again, be sure to check the holes underneath. Now, my foxtail fern, you can see it's growing real well. But we've got to in, uh, inspect all along the crevices, make sure there's no spiders and any other uh, varmint that wants to keep in. It's growing real thick, but I need to go down under there and look, the little roots are trying to poke out the top. It must be getting pretty crowded in there 
over just the one season. And there's the little berries. And you see a little bug that has gotten on here. I'll get you a close-up of it. Is there another one? Oh, there's two. One here and one over here. That is going to try to ride inside and go with us. But unfortunately, I'm going to clean him off. I'll have to look a little more closely to see exactly what he is, good or bad. But I don't want either in there. I don't know if he's after the fruit, the little berries that form after this blooms or whatever, but you've got to kind of examine the surface and up and down the sides and even the bottoms so that you don't have any little hitchhikers coming in. But be sure to inspect them and I will reference the other post where I talked about mixing up the insecticide which would kill everything that's down in the soil plus it sends something up into the leaves so that if anything should try to bite and chew onto the plant indoors it will ward off those insects that's what i've got ahead of me and since the cycle of these insects the fungus gnats is a month or so you need to get an early start, so at least you would be ahead of their life cycle. So, we are expecting, I think in Ohio, it's either September 15th or October 15th that you could expect frost, just depending on if you're going by Zone 5 or Zone 6. So, I need to get started, so I at least have a month's head start. Now, once these plants are indoors, I'll use the insecticide on them by scratching it into the soil surface about once every six to eight weeks, I think the box says. And I'll put a link to that bonine systemic insect killer here. But meanwhile, use sticky traps to catch the insects. Use the hydrogen peroxide to water them when you water. Do everything you can in your arsenal to fight the fungus gnats. Now my lemon coral sedum will not survive Ohio's winter so I may need to bring her in and see if she can survive under lights don't know how well that would work but that's a giant tufa to bring in Allo Pacifico will need to come in oh I've got my work ahead of me more aloe. More aloe. Another agave. And the head base that's not doing as well as the other. You can see that. She's just not doing as well. They sit next to each other side by side. So I don't know what the difference is for her. But we've got to treat her to bring her inside. And then we won't go through all the other plants over here, one by one. Some of these, I think I'm going to have a giveaway so that I can just let somebody have the plants that I don't want to bring in. Well, I've got to get busy. Good luck with your nets this season. We'll all fight them together. Let us know what works for you. See you next video.